Five and throw, drink, tape. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with things I learned about Australia the hard way. USA versus Australia. Here we are with Healthy Emmy. Uh, we react to Isaac Butterfield talking about one of her videos. Now we're going to react to her. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Emmy! What we got? Kmart in the US, it's like, oh, you don't go to Kmart. But Kmart in Australia is popping. Woo! It's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy, and I was about to say I'm the creator of the Slim on Starch program, but today we're talking about Aussie land. You guys have missed the Australia videos, and so I'm here to deliver a video that is going to help you out if you are planning on moving to Australia, or if you're in Australia and you just want to make fun of me for not knowing that much about Australia, even though I lived there for an entire year, I'm here for that too. So, is everything that I say going to be true about every single city, town, and section, and borough of Australia? No. Am I claiming to be an expert on Australia? No. Does this mean I should be dragged through the coals in the comments section? No. Honestly, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. So if you want to poke fun at me, I'm the first to laugh at myself. Let's have a good time. Isaac, if you want to make a video about this, I'll watch it while I'm eating my sush. So let's get it. <laughs> watch it while I'm eating my sush. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, you got to get a disclaimer in the beginning of your video. I, I don't mean uh, I, all of this country. I only mean uh, what I've ex my experiences in this country oh yeah yeah they drag you through the mud and they will drag you through the codes in the comment section uh subscribers will do that but i mean as a youtuber that's just something you gotta be prepared for that's something you gotta get used to and you do get used to it pretty quickly especially when you can laugh at yourself it's all right, so we are talking about the things that I learned about Australia the hard way. I lived in Australia for a year. I moved to Melbourne from Boston, and I didn't know a thing about what I was doing. I was just a 23-year-old that was going to go be a teacher in Australia for a year. And I got back a couple months ago, and now I'm making a video about things that I learned the hard way that you might want to know about before you get over there. Or if you already live in Australia, you can laugh at me for finding this out the hard way. Now, am I throwing shade at Australia? Guys. Come on. I spent a year there. I wouldn't have spent a year there if I didn't love every single second of it. All right, speeding cameras. I, I don't do speeding cameras. I, 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 this topic's come up in different videos about Australia that I watch. Yeah, I don't, they're safer. They make everything safer on the streets for society. Everyone's safer with the speeding cameras out. Do I like them? No, because as you know, you see my videos, I've got lead foot. I have to go fast. It's, it's just something that I was born with. It's something that's uncontrollable. And so I'll just look out for the cops. But if it's a speeding camera, then I'm screw I'd be screwed. <clears throat> yeah. Learn that one the hard way. If you work for the Australian government, there is a very large chance that I single-handedly paid your yearly salary this year. Yeah, dang. I racked up over $1,000 in speeding fines while in Australia. Is it because Damn. I'm a crazy, reckless driver? No, it's because I'm from Boston. If you're from Boston, you basically don't get a hall pass whenever they see the Massachusetts license plate. They're like, she's from Boston. Don't even, don't even try over there. <laughs> when you live in the United States, you ask people back me up on this. If you drive the speed limit, you get honked at. If somebody Bounce. drives the speed limit, Bounce. you like get pulled over because it's like, okay, you driving a little slowly there. <laughs> Everybody drives the speed limit, which is beautiful. It's so safe. But for people like me, that if you grow up driving the speed limit, you're putting yourself in danger because people will come at you with like knives. Like, what are you doing? It's a different situation. <clears throat> and do people actually come at you with knives? No. No. Yeah. Come on. They come at you with their bare fists. Yeah! But you can't really get away with <clears throat> driving above the speed limit in Australia because they have speeding cameras. Do yeah, you? Know I, I will back her up on the. I, just, just, I don't think uh, people really just like oh, I'll catch you. Well, where I'm from, I won't. Where she, she's from, Boston, Massachusetts, probably a little meaner place than 
where I'm from. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nobody likes going slow. You, you, people don't really drive the speed limit here. We don't really, the speed limits are up, they're cool. Uh, if you get stuck behind a 16 wheeler, you gotta drive the speed limit, don't have a choice because you're stuck behind them. They take over both lanes on the interstate. If it's only a two lane interstate, sometimes it goes like five, six lanes. But whatever, you guys, you gotta drive behind them. It's, then you gotta go slow. You don't have a choice. But if it's an open road, if there's really like no freaking nothing in your way, we're not. You're not going to speed limit. We're not going to speed limit. We drive fast. We're, we're, we're Lightning McQueen. You want speed? I am speed. <laughs> way with driving above the speed limit in Australia because they have speeding cameras. Do you know where these speeding cameras are? I could tell you because I got a ticket for every single one that I went through. So you go through, you, apparently there are cameras, um, they take a picture of you and they send you the ticket to your door. So yeah. time after time at my door, I would get $300 speeding tickets, $200 speeding tickets. It would just keep on coming. And the best part is that you log on to go pay the ticket and there's a picture of you in your car speeding. <laughs> I can't even deny it. I tried to appeal every single ticket that I got. I mean, I became pen pals with the Australian government at this point because I was sending so many appeals into them. None of them were granted and you're welcome Australia for the amount of money that I supplied to your government while I was there driving recklessly. <laughs> and for the record guys, I was never speeding in a school zone. So many people were like, Here's, what's wrong with you? You're a teacher speeding in a school zone. Guys, come on, have some morals. I got you, I got you. The word diary is a day planner. Mm. I was out on the town with a male and he was talking about writing in his diary and I was like, this kid has a diary? Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta go. My, <laughs> my mom needs me home in America for dinner so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> And then I later found out that a diary is a day planner and this person was not writing in their diary like, Dear diary, I had a, a wonderful day. Y'all see how, how us men get it over here? We can't even have, we're not even allowed to have a diary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that we'd even want a diary if society didn't frown upon it. But I'm saying like, you see how she was like, yeah, dude, the man's got a diary like, hey. I, I gotta go. I, I can't rock with you. you. You got a diary, bro? Like, that ain't cool. That, that, men, men, y'all just should have those. I, and you're just not for me. You see that? You, you see this? We got feelings. We got emotions. Would I ever use a diary? No. Because maybe I don't have as much feelings and emotions as I was just saying five seconds ago. I don't know. But day planner, uh, I feel like you just use your phone for a day planner. I, me personally, but. And was not writing in their diary, like, Dear Diary, I had a, a wonderful day. It, they were just planning out their day, so. Slip through the cracks. Friday. Next thing I learned the hard way is that Good Friday is like Christmas. So Good Friday comes, and I'm not doing anything for Good Friday. I was alone in Australia, like I'm not, whooping it up on Good Friday. I never whoop it up. What am I even saying? So it was Good Friday on school holiday. So I had the day off and I was like, I'm going to go out to the fruit and veg market and go and get my fruit and veg. And I go out to the fruit and veg market and I'm on my way there and I'm driving there and I'm like, wow, there's nobody on the road. Like I am cruising. It's about like 45 mm. minutes to go to the fruit and veg place. I was oh, like, right. I am cruising right now. This is awesome. Like where is everybody? I guess people really up. do take this day seriously. So I get to the fruit and veg place and it's closed. And I'm of like, course. oh, no worries. You know, not the end of the world. There's other places around here I can go. I go to the other places and they are all closed. Kohl's is closed. Woolies is closed. Aldi is closed. I'm like, maybe this is a religious part of town. I do a quick Google search and all Aldi's are closed. All coals are closed. All woolies are closed. Ooh. And before people go and say, that's not true, blah, blah, it was true in Melbourne. I live to tell the tale because <laughs> all of my name was like a tiny handful of potatoes. But yeah, learn that one the hard way. Good Friday is like 
Christmas, nothing is open. Ooh. Nothing was open. Yeah, that 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 it suck to drive 45 minutes to find that out. <laughs> Macca's is what they call McDonald's. People were always saying, going to Macca's, going to Macca's, going to Macca's. I was like, what the heck is Macca's? I was like looking up Macca's. I'm like, what is this? And they're like, oh, you call it McDonald's. And I was like, Macca's? And somebody actually said to me once, they were like, it makes no sense that you guys call it Mickey D's. And I was like, it's called McDonald's, MCD, Mickey D's. There's no, it's not McDonald's, it's not M A C D, it's MCD. Either way, none of us should be eating it. All right, don't, don't come at McDonald's like that, Amy. You might be right, it's unhealthy, but it's good. <laughs> Sometimes, if you go to the right McDonald's, it's good. Oh, uh, but yeah, what do you call them? Backers, Mickey D's, McDonald's. All just different names for a rush for a fast food joint. Pennies. The Australians don't use pennies. I actually did not realize this until the very end of my trip there because I mm. used my card all the time. And then toward the end of my trip, I was like, I need to use up all this cash that I brought over and never used. And I wasn't getting pennies in return, but the, you know, the price would be, I was actually, I was getting gas or petrol, as you guys say. And I still don't understand that whole game. Like I, I figured it out, but I, my gas ended up being like something 92 and I didn't get any pennies back. And I was like, well, that's weird. But I mean, what am I going to do? Say like, I didn't get my pennies back. And so I ended up searching it up and they don't produce pennies anymore. How are people supposed yeah. to have lucky days if they don't find pennies on the ground? So what I'm saying, oh bring Lord. back the penny. No. I'm saying get rid of the penny. Yeah. No, we don't need penny. Amazon Prime. Hmm. I went to school. Amazon Prime is an American's best friend. 100%. Americans, and I'm sure all over the world, but... As an American, Amazon Prime is a necessity. It's illegit necessity. Well, in the South, and there's a saying called, bless your heart. Amazon Prime of Australia, bless your heart. You gave it the good old college try, but Amazon Prime just isn't really a thing. It's a thing, but it's not a thing. Mm. And the, the supply is extremely limited. I ordered something on Amazon Prime and it took like two weeks for it to come. And it was just the mm. hot mess express. Um, you're better off just going to Kmart. If you want to buy something from Amazon Prime, use Amazon Prime as inspiration, but just get your bum over to Kmart because Kmart is the place to be. Um, that was another thing that I learned the hard way is like Kmart in the US, it's like, oh, you don't go to Kmart. Nah, but Kmart, Kmart in Australia is popping. Kmart in Australia is the equivalent to Target in the U.S. So if you're Ooh. heading over to Australia, don't knock Kmart. Kmart is the place mm. to be. You Aussies know. Yeah, yeah. Kmart in the U.S. is it's not it's not it's not it. But Target, if she compared it to Target, oh yeah, Target's popping. Target. Everybody loves Target. I'm more of a Walmart guy, but everybody loves Target. <laughs> The saying, that's okay. This is something that I should have known because I studied abroad in London and I learned this one the hard way there too, is when you say thank you in the United States, people say you're welcome. When you say thank you in Australia, people say that's okay. They say that's okay. And if somebody says that's okay in the United States, it means like, I didn't really want to do this for you, but like, fine. I, like, it's okay. Like, whatever. I did it. That's what it means in the US. It kind of means like, you bothered me, but I did it for you. In Australia, it's just what they say. And so people were saying to me, that's okay. I was like, oh my God, I'm like bothering these people so much. And especially because I had just come over here. I was like literally trying to learn how the country worked. And so I was asking a lot of questions and asking people to help me do things. And they would say, that's okay. And I'd be like, I need to leave this country. I'm bothering everyone so much. But I didn't know. And that's okay. <laughs> Fruit and veg is so expensive. And for your girl who only eats fruits and vegetables, that was a hard time. And I later found out, you know, there were, I did some research on this and I actually found out that for a while, bananas could not be imported to Australia, which is quite interesting, which is why they were so expensive because 
if the only place bananas are coming from is from the Australian supplier of bananas, they're gonna rack up that price. Fox. And also, I found out that while I was there, there were tons of droughts and flooding that caused mm. the farms in Queensland to not be able to produce as much as they normally produce. And so fruit and veg was really, really expensive while I was there. It was like $8 for a head of cauliflower. Brussels oh. sprouts were like $25 a kilo. Yeah. It was just, it was bananas. I definitely don't be eating fruits and veg. Fruits, I'll eat fruits, but veg is the no-go. Aussie versus Aussie. This one got me raked through the coals. I was, instead of saying Aussie, which is the way you should say it, O-Z-Z-Y, -Z -Z I was saying it like an American. I was like, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Don't do that, Aussie, Aussie. don't do that. Oi, they oi, oi. will come at you in the YouTube comments. It is Aussie, not Aussie. Ozzy, okay. Ozzy, Ozzy, oi, oi, oi. All right, guys, I have got like a ton of these. And if you want me to do a part two, I am more than happy to do a part two. But that's what I got for now. And I adore you. And I will see you in my next video. Woo! I helped you. She seemed pretty cool. She was really nice. Uh, I enjoyed the video. Uh, that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, D.D.A. Out.